about the headache. Okay. So what did we say here? Let's move on to the headache. And um, we said what we really want to look at is people who introduce a problem when you've already got a plate full, when you've already got a plate full on your table, and how do you handle it? So what what actually went on here? Let's figure that out first. Right. What did you see happening here? Uh, I think I spoke about her stroke. Yeah. And because she relates the headache to the stroke, she yeah. came up with it. Yeah, that's right. So, if I had screened her and said, is there anything else today, it still wouldn't have come out. Because mm. that wasn't her agenda for the day. Mm. It was only when I started asking her about her, her, her stroke mm. that this came out. So why didn't you screen her? You've mentioned screening as a preventative thing. Yeah. You're right, absolutely screening would. Um, uh, what, what, what might you have said to me? Give me an example. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about today? Mm. Okay. Or even if you hadn't screened, um, you know, at the point where she brought out the dizziness and the headaches? Yes. What would you have said there? Uh, right at the beginning, because you mentioned that briefly, didn't you? Yes. Would you like to talk about that today? Mm. Or, talk about yeah. the today? or is that something you want to talk about in a bit more detail? Mm. All right. Okay. Um, so, okay, prevention is screen. But let's go back into actually what happened in this consultation. Right, so I'm talking to her about her TIA, mm. and she says that, well, she had a TIA so many years ago, and since then she's had a headache. Uh, and she's gone to see the neurologist. That's right. I know all of that, but looking at the video, what actually happened? She brings in the headache problem. And what? it just hijacks the consultation. It hijacks it completely. Yeah. And then at some point, you go back to the initial thing about the blood pressure. Yeah. And do you know what? I don't know whether it applied to you, but I couldn't figure out where that changeover happened. Do you see what I mean? I mean, I couldn't... And I think that's got something to do with structure, which is what you want Probably. to talk about, all right? But I think they kind of explained to her that I thought her headache was either a medication or a mm. headache, or just from her nerves. Yeah. And she said, oh yeah, so if it was a... Okay. I'm not worried about a brain tumour, and if it was anything serious, it would have happened by now. And I said, okay, right. let's talk about your blood pressure okay. again. Now. Well, let me ask you another question, all right? Okay. Were you particularly happy with your history and examination of that headache in that consultation? I think, probably looking back, I could have, I didn't examine her at all, so that was probably not brilliant. Mm. I should have done. Mm. But I think I was I wasn't worried about her headache. Mm. Um, I couldn't, you know, do a spot diagnosis for what exactly it was, but mm. I was pretty sure it was nothing that I needed okay. to handle sort of ASA. But there was this bit of you that makes you think, I wish I'd done an examination if I had the time or whatever. Yes. Okay, well let me just let's this consultation took eighteen minutes, all right. Yes. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be a magician, all right, and here's my magic wand. And I'm going to give you an hour and a half for this patient, and we're going to start from scratch again. Okay. Right? Would you have done the headache and exam uh, the headache in terms of history and examination any differently? I would have probably uh, asked the same questions I asked, but I would have probably brought her back, or well, just maybe asked even. I couldn't you an hour and a half, more than enough time to get her. Okay. I'll I make still, it even easier. I still wouldn't want to. Um, you know, kind of mix everything together. I would okay. still ask a few questions, yeah. make sure this headache is not something I'm worrying about, and say, can I talk to you about the headache right. next time, and can I see you again, right. and so many... I know certainly for me, all right, that this would have been too much on my plate. All right, mm -hmm. we're already handling something very, very juicy, mm -hmm. and she's thrown something else that's quite juicy. I know with what you've said, that you feel comfortable that her headache is okay. And you're probably 80% sure in yourself 
I think for my purposes, I would just want to do, want to do a one-off, more the in-depth review of a headache. Right. Just so I can clear it and say, yeah, I've looked at that and I'm not worried in the slightest. Uh, All right, do you yeah. see what I mean? Absolutely. And I agree, I'm not sure I would have done it in this today's consultation. All right, I would not have done it in today's consultation. Okay. All right, I would have done it later on in the week. Uh -huh. And the thing about it is you end up otherwise rushing through it. Did you feel like you're rushing through it at any point? Yeah. Because you want to get back to the other one? Sure. And yeah. she's booked him for how long a consultation? Double or ten minutes? No, mm -hmm. just 15 minutes. A 15 minute consultation. So she was already taking up your time. All right. And that then gets you flustered. Why get yourself so flustered? Sure. You know, let's prevent it. True. All right. So, what did we say? How would we handle and how do we prevent them? Okay. So, what do you think you could have done with her? She's brought in the problem. Yes. I'm not talking about prevention. Okay. She's brought you up at that point. What could you have done at that point? Um, just quickly screening to make sure it's not dangerous. And if it's not, which I don't think it was, mm. bring her back. Mm. And you say screen for to quickly make sure it's not dangerous. So, what sort of things in this particular case would you have asked? And you did actually ask. Yeah, so I asked about vision. Yeah. Asked about nausea vomiting, mm. changes with posture. Right, good. Okay. And that's what I'm getting at. All right. I think I would still allow her to speak, just like in any other consultation. Mm. Allow to speak naturally. Okay. Again, don't go into this traditional medical model of uh, medical history mode, like you taught at medical school, which is, okay, well, tell me about the headaches. Is it here? Do you vomit? Has your eye vision changed? You know, uh, are you waking up in the middle of the night with a headache? You know, all that, that stuff. You know, forget that. Let them talk. How long are they going to talk for? I don't know. Two, three minutes. Yeah, I mean, the research says no more than, usually no more than three minutes. All right. So, actually, if you just let her talk, you'll probably get most of your information. Mm -hmm. And then you could just add in your own few specialisms to make sure it's not serious. Now, that might take you, well, she might talk for two minutes. The expression a minute, three minutes. Yeah. Okay. So what you're saying is handling them. So you're saying first of all, okay, allow them to speak. And then you said screen questions for the dangerous. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Anything else you would have done? Okay, so you quickly screened. I've told you now that it, it's obviously, it doesn't sound like that too much to worry about. What are you going to say to me now? Uh, explanation, me. reassure. I don't think this is anything serious, but I, um, if you're going to explain, you probably need to know ideas from the investigation as well. Then. highly unlikely to be the cancer the tumour that you're worried about. I just think for the sake of completeness we should do an examination as well and I want to look at you in detail. Mm. Uh, so shall we book you an appointment to see me day after tomorrow? Or yeah, I, I, I think that's a good approach. What would I have said? I would have said, right, well obviously you're quite worried that this headache might be such and such. But I haven't heard what you've had to say. I really don't get that, I really don't think it is that. But just to make double sure, why don't we have a look at this in complete detail later on in the week? And there, I will examine you too. How about that? And how can I refuse such an offer? No, they can't. And then it will allow you to get back. Would you agree? Yeah. Oh, yes. And, uh, you know, um, and just about structure, you said you wanted to add structure to the consultation, all right? And at that point, I might have turned around and said to her, Right, shall we go back to the blood pressure? Yeah. What's that called again? Signposting. Signposting, yes. all right. Okay, so how would you, so then we put down, uh, introduce, uh, so 
so he said explain stop reassure and then you said the final thing is um, bring in the delay till next time explanation does that sound clear yeah. shall we just go through it so what you could have uh, on this one um, once you brought in the headache what you could have done was allow her to speak and elicit her concerns in particular not mainly joint but mainly not you might then want to add one or two screening questions to make sure it's not dangerous and then you might want to explain and reassure that it's not that or is that or whatever and then finally you want to introduce the the bit where you say well let's have a look at more detail for next time prevention how could you have prevented it you said screening anything else There's only one other thing I can think of. It's picking up on cues. And that could be verbal or non-verbal. Alright. And the reason why I say that is because she did mention it at the beginning. You didn't scream, but she mentioned it. Yeah. She clearly mentioned something about it. And her behaviour was such that she was quite expressive with it. And I, I might have at that point have turned around and said to her, you know, uh, is that something you want to talk about? in a bit more detail. Well, clearly that you're very upset about that. Shall we stay there for the time being and talk about that? Maybe it might be better to start with that and then yeah. go to that. True. You just don't know. No. Does that sound reasonable? Yes. Okay.